I'm Michael. And I'm Jay. I'm Batman. We're... Now that's not eight months old and ten months old. Oh! oh. oh I'm a big girl. Okay, so today we are reviewing Dirt 3. Oh. Yeah. Mike, do you want to do this? Yeah, sure. Here you go. <clears throat> It's a rally racing game. I have to say, it looks very nice. They have really updated the weather effects. The cars look lovely, and the backgrounds are beautiful and breathtaking. It looks better on this than on PS3. Yeah, right. and I don't know why that is. I, I, I played it on the 360, and I played it on the PlayStation 3 at Jay's, and for some reason, the 360 looks better. I, don't, I can't explain it. It does look better. And we have I, the I exact don't... same TVs. I know, that's just what happens sometimes. Let's make it clear. HDMI cables, both have it. The exact same TV. For some reason, it looks better on the 360. Yeah. There's jaggy lines. PlayStation, why do you fail me? Yeah, yo. <laughs> I play on good. Xbox. I was able to play online. It is fun to play with your friends online. FYI, there's uh, a little tidbit here. On the rear view mirror of cockpit view, you see your avatar hanging in there. So I see a little <laughs> Michael hanging by my hand like this. Or your neck. I think they did it first with the neck and the developers were like, mm, maybe you shouldn't do it. It's like this. That's still kind of weird. Why? Oh, like a, like a, I don't know. Your dick? <laughs> well, that'd be difficult when you're a female. Your tit. So in this, there's a campaign mode and basically it you're is. trying, can you shut up? Whoa. In the dirt tour, basically you're trying to earn points which go towards your reputation and the bigger reputation you have, the more people want to sponsor you and want to put their name in your car, et cetera, et cetera. Street cred. So with that, you get more sponsors as well as more vehicles. Is this better than GT5 Rally? Ooh, ooh, is it? Ooh, Michael, ooh. Michael? Is it? Ooh. Yes, Michael. It is. It is much better. Absolutely. Well, if you are worried about Gran Turismo 5 and you're like, you agree with us, oh, they spread it too thin, and it's all over the place, and you want more focus, get this game, Dirt 3. I like the sounds, but go. There's a lot of Triforces that show up. Yeah, they use triangles in their menu. Their menus are great. Their menus are a lot quicker than they were before. Yeah. They've, they've streamlined them for sure. Best However, freaking menus ever. Codemasters is known for these menus. <laughs> Very good. Oh. Research. <laughs> the flashbacks that they had in Dirt 2 are back. They do cost reputation points, but you can do flashbacks, which is essentially like a retake. It's trying to be like Sam. You don't, no, uh, uh, it's a Sam. It's a. It's a. No it's music. Trying to be a lot. Okay. There's no music. Why was but, there no music? There's cool music in like the menus, and then there was no music in the game. I was getting bored, man. Ah, hard left, wait, easy wait. right. Hey, you know what I liked a lot about this? No music. Is No, <laughs> it felt like old school PS1 Tony Hawk games because right, they, right. they always, you play them and there's these fun moments and then it would progress the game every year. A new sport called Jim Kahana. And it's a game mode. <laughs> and it looks fun, you get to do all these new tricks, spins, donuts. It's an obstacle course, essentially. Right. It and that's, what, that's what reminded me of Tony Hawk, because right. you, you put things together and you do jumps. Right. And it's good. And you think it's going to be amazing. I had the least amount of fun with that. Not only are the tutorials not very helpful, they're like, oh, come in here, go slowly, and then turn, and then steer really well. Like, they don't tell you exactly how to do a spin. Use the handbrake. Duh. Okay, if you're designing a game, how do you make this part more interesting? When you're coming into it, I want quicker shots. There are all these, like, really slow pans. And there's a lot of loading because- Between the races. Holy sometimes, Chipotle. Oh yeah. Sometimes God. the races are only two minutes. I gotta admit, though, I had more fun with this than Gran Turismo 5. When I'm in totally. the cockpit view, I'm hearing the pebbles hit the, the back of my Absolutely. car, I'm looking behind me, it's exciting, and it's hard, it's challenging. When you're on easy, it is so easy. It's so ridiculous. It's it's like the you can jump sleep. between easy and intermediate is retarded. It's like a new <coughs> game, it's a different game. <coughs> By the way, it's called the automated brake system. I love the challenge. You know what's amazing about that? Cockpit view. No, anyone can pick it up and play. Right. So it's not Gran Turismo 5 here, it's like, yes. it's got an arcade mode to it as well. And so. the menus are easy. There are also various party modes. There's capture the flag, there's spread the zombie infection, and then there's also smashes wooden targets. Cool, extra thing to do with your friends. I spread many infections with my friends. I'm sure you do. Oh god. I got it. No, I, I got a shower cap. There's also a new hardcore mode, and in this one, you're restricted to cockpit view, as well as there are no assists available. Anyone? <laughs> you got something? <laughs> Hardcore <Sorry>. cockpit? <laughs> Go do something. And then also a new feature, you can now upload straight to YouTube a replay of a race that you've done. Doesn't always work perfectly. Yeah, it's but flawed. It's only it's flawed. It's only 30 seconds as well. Yeah. So I mean, it's not spectacular, but if there's some moments that you want to share with your friends, 
you'd be able to do that. I thought the handling was fine. A lot of people are saying the handling's no good in this game. Why people feel it's a little they loose. People are getting loose, angry. But they have to adjust to it. Like, it takes skill to play this game. It does. If you make a mistake, you potentially have ruined your race. Yeah. So there's some ups and some downs. Mike, what do you give this game overall? I didn't know that, that off-road racing was this colorful and there was this many options with trucks, with dune buggies, and the sand, and the snow, and the ice. I didn't know this world. So I was having fun, and there was a huge variety here. I give this racing simulator slash arcade off-road racer... Slash rally. Slash rally... an 8.5 out of 10. That's pretty hot. It's a very strong racing game. What I didn't like about it was, yes, the graphics are gorgeous in some parts, but some things didn't look right. Like, they don't really know how to do headlights. At one point, I saw the same guy and the same teacher doing this yeah. in like three different places. Better positions. than GT5 crowds. Yeah, so way better than GT5. Uh, the Jim Connor was not nearly as fun as I was expecting. I actually was kind of dreading it after a while. And I really had fun with just the racing, the rally, the time trials. Jay, what's your overall score? I give it 7.5. A little bit above an average game for me. Yes, it's really good, but I mean, Dirt 1, 2, they were just as good as this. Yes, it does have a lot of new features that the other ones did not have, but it's still essentially the same racing. It's still the same game. What I like about the game is the graphics in the background are spectacular. Does it come close to GT5? Uh, fun factor. Yeah, it's, it's, more. it's a lot more fun, and the snow effects have definitely uh, amazed me. I love them. I give this game a 7.5. I did enjoy it. It was a really good rally racer simulator type of game. It was beautiful. There were some really fun modes, for sure. I actually didn't mind the Gymkhana. I found that there was definitely a learning curve to some of the skills. Overall, it was enjoyable. It was fun to play. Online, it's definitely fun to play. But it didn't like grab my interest and took a long time to get into it because you have to wait so long for the announcers to explain every single thing. I just wanted to get in and try a race. I wish you could at least skip it if you wanted to. And also, I really wanted music. Like, if you go to the options, it says music 100% and you can turn it down to 50%. I had that baby at 100%. I did not hear music. Don't lie to me. <laughs> uh, link in the under bar if you guys want to check out my channel. It's very serious, but link in the under And would you like to get the shout out done with? So all the footage in this is supplied by Red Eleven Gaming. You can check their channel below. It's Ryan from I forget where he's from. Scotland. Ryan. Did you say sorry. Finland? I thought he was from Scotland. He's I'm from gonna Scot say Ireland. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say Paris. Oh, oh Paris. He does some commentaries with some of the developers, so go check his channel out. And he's a long supporter of the show, and we love Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, no Ryan. No homo. No homo. Absolute homo in my uh, side of things. <laughs> yeah. You guys are being a little too hard in this game, I think. Or not. Yeah, you're being hard. Give it 7.5. You guys gave it both 7.5? That's what it is. It's a 7.5 game. All right. It's not like it blew our minds. All right. So, like, I'm being honest with these people. They're going to play this game and go, this is a fun racing game, but it's not like it's going to change the world of racing I would say forever. rent it. Well, you don't know shit. You're being too hard in this game. Nope. Yep. That's nope. your opinion. Yep. So. Nope. And I said it. All right. So you're being too high as usual. You give everything. Nope. 8.9. Can we have it for two seconds just to be serious for once in your f***ing life? Nope, could you. Not on this channel. Hey, a new sport called Jim Kahana that new I'm mode, not aware of. Mode. New sport. Mode. It's a sport. It's a mode, bitch. Sport. Yeah, but it's a real sport. New oh, sport. It's okay. new. I'm sorry. And it's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not only it's, A, it's, did the tutorial to teach you how to do things <laughs> kind of suck. <laughs> You were like, it's amazing, it's amazing. No, no, I didn't say that. I said right. it's like Tony Hawk, okay, okay, it's okay. like fun, you can put the game. All right, sorry, sorry. It turns and then you jumped to intermediate and you're just like off the course, like you see what crazy. She did? It was funny, she went. I know. When she turned like that and she opened her mouth, I saw this huge gob of phlegm back there. It was like, oh my God. You know how gross it is to work with her? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see Magneto cry while he lifts the sub. Ooh.